Hey everybody, hey everybody, Jeremy Redmond here. Look at this, okay? Look at this, look at this. I wanted to take a minute really fast and, ta and thank everyone for, everyone here has helped us get what I love most and that is trophies. I really do appreciate you. Um, awarded to Task Magic App Sumo Partners. We are um, top three or four. We've made like I, I believe like over three million on the App Sumo platform, um, and which is funny because Task Magic is on Sumo Day. So please go check it out. And one reason why I say this is because this will be the last time Task Magic is ever on App Sumo. I believe. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I just want to trend one more time. I just want to see if we can get to number one. I mean, it's not, it, I don't know if anyone loves us at all, <laughs> go buy the lowest tier, anything you can, <laughs> uh, refund it later. Don't, 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 don't refund it. Um, but I love you. Every one of you lovers, haters. I, I love them all. I love you all. You all drive traffic. You all help. We do everything we can for you. Um, and I'm very proud of this. So if you could go show us some love and support, um, you don't have to, no one has to do anything, but, uh, I would just like to trend one last time. And here it is. It's part of sumo day. We must have set, I think we signed this agreement like in December right? Or something like that. It was something nuts. Um, but yeah, we did well. We did well with this one. So like, and we get like, a, we get a handful of like uh, monthly customers like every day, right? Um, so we're so proud of the community we've built in AppSumo. Um, <clears throat> and this is a bigger, uh, a longer task magic video. Um, but okay, you have three days, we have three days, 12 hours to try to get this to number one. I don't know if we can get it to number one. <laughs> I think it's like a combination combination between like revenue, reviews, engagement, like questions or whatever. Um, and I'm on all the questions, all I can. I'm replying to every review as I can. Uh, but if you can do something, amazing. Um, but because of Sumo Day, right, on here, so check it out, we are launching lazydeals.com it's unlocked okay and um we we are selling a thousand of these okay so our we have two things two things in our deal by the way at the end of this sorry for this ramble um uh, at the end of this we have a huge task magic update and that update has to do with um uh the mcp update we've been working on this for the last like six to eight weeks as well as mail lead uh too because I thought mail lead was launching on Sumo Day. So we were trying to hit that. We did hit that six to eight week uh, time frame as well. Uh, we'll have a bigger update for that. I want to make its own video um, this week. So for the mail leaders out there, um, lazy leads gets updated all the time. Uh, Air 5 is probably the easiest one. But um, we just launched this, lazydeals.com. Okay, this is probably be the greatest deal we never do again. Um, so it's 1900 bucks, okay? And you get V1 at a thousand bucks price. You can try it risk-free also. Uh, so the entire, so you can just buy V1, right? Likeable V1, or you can get the entire stack, which includes V1. Let me minimize by myself here. So you can get V1, okay? Sessions is coming back in the next couple of months. <laughs> Watch. I know everything we do takes like a little longer, but um, by the way, this has set a thousand. It doesn't automatically update like every one, but like, let, let's see. <laughs> we sold 17 already. I haven't even made a video about this. That is actually really cool. Thank you guys. Oh my God. I haven't even made a video about this. Okay, sessions, that is coming back. That is real, okay? <laughs> I don't know how much of it will be, but we're focused on collaborative and um, video conferencing if you want it, right? Uh, JotMe, the AI note-taking app. You can go check that out. You can learn more about it here. Boom. You get that. 
Okay, done, right? You get Stand Up Wizard app. You can check that out. Boom, we just bought this, okay? Um, you get 500 minutes of Alo. That's a few weeks coming out. We've been beta testing it with some users in the community. You can try that out. Tavolo, okay? We are using another open source tool that we could build more easily with our AI model and that the license is right and proper. I think this one's Apache license as well. Um, but this is really great. So we can use our thing. I like this UI as well. We were using both this. I think this one is, this is an open source tool called Grist, I think. Um, and we'll just build our AI on top of it so you can add, because they don't have their AI version in the open source repo. And then side product. Okay, man, geez. Okay. All right. So then side product. And what side product is, is going to be, <laughs> is there is this site called open source alternative dot two. Okay. You can go to it. Open source dot two. Okay. Open source dot alternative two. Oh yeah. Here. So right. Like Airtable. Okay. Um, or you can just go to like whatever. So open source alternative two dot two. You can search all these open source platforms. Okay. Um, that you can essentially build on top of, right? Take the repo, do whatever. There's thousands of these, right? Um, the cool thing is, is what we're doing with a uh, side product is making it so a non-technical person can drop the link of a open source repo from GitHub and stand it up and host it themselves and then manage it on a monthly basis, pull in updates. Uh, we will have that, um, Again, the way we work on it is like one developer that we'll hire will bring on and then we rotate them. So like we're trying to get this one out as well. Um, so and then also go mess around, go play, go to open source alternative dot two um, and see what you'd like us to build. If not, uh, you can go do it when side product comes out. Um, also, last thing with this, uh, if you've already bought likable dot view or likable dot co uh, v1, you can, whatever you paid, you can go here and it will net that out of that 1900 bucks for you. Okay. Nice. I can't believe we sold 17 already. I'm only doing, that is, let's call this, everyone gets the top tier, the $1,000 tier. Okay. That's how I did this. Maybe I didn't say that. So this would be $1,000, $2,000. Plus, if you buy, remember, you don't have to do, uh, you don't have to buy, um, you don't have to pay the monthly fee for that. So this, boom, another thousand bucks. Dang. Jot me, another thousand bucks. Sessions, another thousand dollars. Wait, in V1, a thousand bucks. Wait, so how much is that? So one, two, three, four. 6.1. Oh, I don't know if I priced this right. Wait, I just kept putting products in there. Okay. So, and here's what I'm holding to. Okay. We will probably drop another product or two on top of this this year. Every product or thing that we drop, you get free this year if you buy this. And we are only doing one, well, we're only doing 983 more. That's really cool that I did that. Okay, now, okay, that's great. Now we have a huge task magic update and it's a MCP update um, that we were doing with browser automations. And the one thing that we're doing with this is you cannot do this with like a Zapier or say just an active pieces because what Kyle shows you in this video that I will splice on right at the back of this is you can go to school posts. It listens for school posts. It scrapes the school posts in a community. Um, and then you can push that, make sense of the data by prompting it automatically and then pushing that data or whatever the answers come back to a task manager. And I think he uses linear. Um, it's an engineering thing, but you can also, you, you can use anything, Trello, Asana, um, any task manager that you use. This is just an example. So imagine, or just watch it. 
But go support us if you can on Sumo Day. Uh, I would like to trend one last time. I don't know if that's asking too much or not. But um, if you can't, you can't. We love you. Uh, but check Open Source Alternative 2. See what you want us to build next. We love that. Um, check out LazyDeals.com. And we will see you the, and then watch this update on task magic. It is a huge task magic update. Huge. We have been working on it for no joke, two months. Um, and then also mail lead update will come this week. Uh, and we will go from there. Thank you. We love you guys for your support. And then side product making open source more open. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. Um, side products helps you stand up an open sports an open sports repository. All right, cool. Great. Watch. Okay. Bye. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. AI. AI is getting fun. So we are setting up an automation. Um, this example is basically because not everyone in the team checks the school community as much as I guess everyone on the team. I check for a lot more bugs um, and feature requests and stuff like that being mentioned. Kenneth is all over mail lead and lazy leads things. Jeremy's all over anything, really just anything. But we want to update the rest of the team on if there's problems so that things can get checked quicker or just get started on or responded to, etc. So this is an automation that is going to go to school and it scrapes all the posts. Normally what we're going to have to do after we scrape all these posts is we're going to need to filter them out. We're going to need to, um, you know, send it to open AI to process it and return what it thinks based on what it thinks we can filter and go one direction or another. Um, it gets a little intense, the type of flow that you're going to need to build there. Um, and that kind of decision making tree. So instead what we have is we have apps that's been added and what apps allow, uh, sorry, what MCP allows is it allows you to connect uh, specific pieces that the AI is going to be able to use. And the reason it's set up this way is because there might be some apps you don't want it to incorrectly use. Like for example, if I um, connected Gmail here and it hits a problem logging into a website, it might send the site owner an email. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it would do, but it would have access to do something like that. So that's why these types of safeguards exist. So again, we're connected to Slack here. Um, I hadn't explained why yet, sorry. So we're scraping all these posts, then we're using that MCP step to connect to Slack. So instead of having to build the automation I was talking about where we use OpenAI and we have to filter things and we have to you know, go through that entire process that's even hard to explain, we're able to just describe it here. So I'm saying for each school post, uh, determine if this is a bug or a problem and message the appropriate channel. Technical problems go to school alerts, sales stuff goes to school sales, and I'll add to this prompt and add some more examples as I go. And then here's the post content. Step five being all of the titles that were scraped and step six being the descriptions of all the posts that were scraped. Um, Cause this one gets a link to the post, this gets their name and this gets the category, I believe. So when we run this step, what's gonna happen is when I click run now, I just cleared this channel so I can demonstrate this. It's going to go to school and scrape all these posts. And then we should see it summarize what it's found uh, here. So once this finishes running, it just went to school and now it's scraping everything. The scrape will go a lot quicker. Now it's running the MCP step. This does take a few seconds because it's going to have to talk to Claude or OpenAI or whoever you connected with, then make a decision and use the appropriate pieces. So this step can take a little bit to run, but it will uh, do as you say. So here we found um, a report that I think there were some people that are having problems logging into V1 or something. No, I think it was mail lead. I don't remember what it was. Something like that that got responded to, whatever that was. Uh, we'll get a quick summary of basically what needs to be addressed. Now we can go a step further with this automation and this will get into some uh, demonstrations with agents where it might go a step deeper and it's going to look at a post and look at comments to determine if the team has already addressed the problem before it gets into this. But this is a really cool example of MCP being directly added to uh, browser automation. We're able to go to a site, scrape a bunch of stuff, and then send that to Claude, which determines you know what's going on, which then was able to message the appropriate channels. And since this was all like bug and functional related stuff, it went to school alerts and not school sales.